So this is West Ridge Nature Preserve in Chicago. And this is the big pond in the middle of the preserve. I went to the pond with a couple of containers and I scooped up some gook from the bottom and took a sample of the water and brought it back home. Then um, Jessica suggested I get an ant farm that's long and thin so that I could easily light and film what goes on inside. So I'd put all of the clay and dirt and rotten leaves and stuff in there and then I poured the water in and I was done. <music> So here is the water before all of the silt has settled. It's all black. So when I finally got down to actually recording, I saw this crazy little wiggling creature and I looked it up and it is a tubifex and it is a kind of worm and it wiggles like that to get oxygen into its skin because it breathes through its skin. It is a type of roundworm or nematode and it digs in head first and stays burrowed in there and looks for stuff to eat. Then there was this weird dude, and there's lots of them everywhere, and I looked that up. It's a cyclops. No, it is an arthropod. It's a kind of water flea called a cyclops. Here, take a look. You can see him there, zooming along. And then he disappears. Whoop. This worm is segmented, and I think that it is not a nematode, but an annelid. It's a flatworm. And you can see, I'm pretty sure that he's eating, I think there's a little bug hanging on to his underside. Um, and I also think that the darkness inside him is the dirt that he has eaten. You can see his little jaws moving at one end. It's amazing to me how much life is in that pond. If all of these things are in just like a cup of water, there must be billions and billions of creatures in that pond. And there's a little guy coming to observe him eat. I think he may be eating from his anus, like eating the stuff that he's already eaten. Again, not sure. Now there's this guy. I looked and looked and I could not find what this guy is. I couldn't find any drawings or pictures that looked like him. He's not segmented. He's got those little brown dots and something sticking out of his face that must sweep up food. But I don't know what he is.
If you look carefully, there's something even smaller right near him. I'll never know what those are. <laughs> there goes the Cyclops. He's in a hurry. And now, one last thing. If you look where he is, do you see there's some poop? Some dirt? Something squirting out of the back, I'm assuming, of a worm. I have another image with that in that here entitled more poop so you can see that worm but if you look on the right look over to the right you see it coming out hmm now this is another kind of flatworm you can see him squirm there that's all I got and that's a planarian. They look goofy. I'm sure there are many more things living in the water. If I had a microscope, it would reveal a whole other world of creatures. Um, and of course, little algae things and so on. But for now, I'm happy with what I see and I'm going to let it, um, I'm going to let time pass and after a few months, we'll check and see what changes have occurred.